Goes in, 1,200 metres. Sprinting from the 1,200 metre marker. Along the inside, Ruby Spirit is right there. Honda with a good position. Play the Knights in the blue. Final attempt, the yellow cap. Celebration rocks on the right. So there's five of them in a line. Further back is Leslie's path to fame. Alfonso Spagoni on the inside. The King of Randoms about six lengths off the leader at this stage. Salele is further back with Bedazzled Joker. That's racing about eight or nine lengths off them. Then Graduate. Final attempt takes them to the 600 metre. Hondo on the outside, play the Knights in the blue. Celebration Rock, then Leslie's path through fame. Ruby Spirit on the inside. The King of Random, Savage down the inside, Alfonso Spagoni. Top of the lane, 500 metres to go. And final attempt is the leader. On the outside of that, play the Knight. Down the inside, Ruby Spirit. And towards the outside, Celebration Rock. And then Alfonso Spagoni, Bedazzled Joker, the King of Random. Final attempt still leads it. Graduates come from last. Graduates running on final attempt, Bedazzle Joker as they come to the line. Graduates going to get up though. Graduate won at final attempt, Bedazzle Joker and Savage. Number one, Graduate came from the tail of the field. Warren Kennedy is overlooking, well, looking over his shoulder from a wide draw. And Graduate Oratorio, second win from Mine Outings, Dennis Bosch and the Fire Racing Trust, 16 Rand 50 and 440. Second, number five, final attempt. Third, number 11, Bedazzle Joker, which ended up the toad favourite, then Savage. Further back, the King of Random, Celebration Rock, and then came Leslie's Path to Fame, Salele further back in the run, and then Play the Night. So as we look at that, fourth, the left-hand side, Graduate comes through, and no stick required at this stage, and Warren Kennedy just pushing it out, but you see, he looks over his left shoulder, he likes what he sees, we'll see the clock, there we go, and he wins it. So that's the eighth and last. It's Friday night racing again, and the result there is 1-4-11-10, Craig Peters signing off. Our number one graduate, uh, Dennis Bosch, will tell you he's always uh, thought this uh, horse could uh, win his fair share of races. And whilst it's taken him a bit of time to notch up that second career win, uh, he's been running uh, in some strong company, Den. You, you've kept this horse in some, some fairly competitive handicaps prior to this. So it looked the right race, but the draw was always going to be a big, big issue. Yeah, geez. first of all, well done to Alish. He's in Cape Town. Uh, you know, he was an expensive horse to start off and then we had to buy him uh, off. And then he gave us a few problems, you know. Mm. So well done to Alish. I phoned him, but he's in Cape Town. He said he was going to return the call. Didn't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, he won a nice race today, didn't he? I, I, I really enjoyed him. Everybody was worried about the 15 draw. I wasn't because I wanted to settle him in. Yes. I brought him back a furlong. You know, I always thought he'd go 14. But uh, he didn't materialize with that. And I wanted to switch his horse off completely, and that's what happened. We switched him off today. And great ride by Warren. He went through them, and he said he just went through effort this year. So, yeah, we'll keep him to this trip, and hopefully he pulls up sound. He's a nice horse, Dees. Well, it looks that way. Although it's taking him a bit of time, the form is clear to see. And wish you all the best. Give Alice our best as well. Dan. Nice way to end of the day. Thank you. And well done to uh, uh, Warren and to my staff who nurse him and put him in ice and a lot of hard work with him. But uh, Alice has been having a bit of a tough time with some of the resources. So hopefully this will cheer him up in Cape Town. Well, give him our... Alice Naidu, cheer up. Yeah. Well done, Dan. Tell him... Stop moaning. <laughs> so, so, so. What a ride, Warren. You know, I already gave ride of the day. I saw, saw Serena nearly come off at the starting stalls, but you had a clear second pick because I think it was yourself and Lyle that were towards the back of the field. Yes, geez, look, he was badly drawn, so the, the plan was, you know, he's such a nice horse and he's so well-natured and he's just a lovely specimen and unfortunately he's got his problems and if he could go a mile, he'd be a top horse, geez, but he, he just can't do it. So we said to Uncle then let's bring him back to the six. We'll drop him out and see what he does and this is the result. You know, with, you, you had a lot of ground to make up. You know, I don't know how quick they were going. You, you know the fractions out there, but 
you, you had a lot of ground to make up turning to the state and he's found a very good finish. Yes, DJ, as you know, um, they went very quick. Look, the, the race was built for that. There were quite a few horses with a lot of speed, yeah, so I thought they were going to very, really quick. So always going to be plan to drop him out, but um, didn't necessarily want to be stone lost with him, but that's the way the race mapped out. And, you know, he's just a horse you've got to sit balanced and wait for him. And when he puts it together, he really puts it together. I mean, he pulled me through them really nicely. When I asked him to quicken, he gave me a nice kick. Just be careful with the hand, but I want to congratulate you on air. Um, hearty congratulations. They had a nice long chat with Barbara as well. You've tied the knot now, so as I mentioned to all the guys, welcome to the beginning of the end club. But uh, you've <laughs> decided to say, I'm, I'm going to make the decision and then move forward now. Yeah, definitely. These, it's, it's all in the, in the plan. You know, uh, always going to come, always going to happen. Barbara is definitely the one. And, um, you know, just to, I'd just like to say a big, big thanks to Lesh for keeping me on this horse. You know, this horse is dear to him. And... I don't know where he is today, Mr. Bosch will know more, but Alesh, thank you very much and well done for the win. And Uncle Dan, you know, great training. He's had his problems, he brought his horse back nicely. And this is the result. I mean, he'll go on from here, definitely. Is this your first winner after tying the knot or your second? No, this is my third already this year. Well, the things are going well, things are going, nothing has changed. Yeah, no, nothing's changed. Look, <laughs> uh, my, my first ride back was a winner straight after the wedding. So, <laughs> so that was a good sign for Bob. I said to her, you know, this, that's a very good sign. You're in the good books here. So, um, yeah, very happy. Life's going good. Dees can't complain. Nice ride, yeah. Thanks very much, Dees. Lovely. That's uh, Warren Kennedy, who recently tied the knot uh, to Barbara. And uh, they have a little one on the way as well. But if you caught the score, Ted, well played. 1, 4, 11, and 10. And that's a wrap of our race meeting at Gravel, where we had eight races on the poly track. A big thank you to all the guys, Gold Circle TV, Warren Linferna, and KB Shea. Craig Peters calling all eight races. And, of course, the guys in the OB van. We were headed up by... Mr. Fish today, that's Matthew, and a meeting will never go by without the mention of the best and hardest working cameraman on course, who is none other than Zane. From myself, Dees Dana, and we meet again. You take care. Salani Garshley.